I watched the police shoot my mother. I do think it was my fault because basically I chose that life. I knew it was wrong and realised that this is a woman that got shot for me. And she still ain't told me off. She's still loving me. She's still encouraging me and willing me to do well. And I'm not taking it on board. And I, when I looked at her and realised, because I thought she was going to die after five years, I think that's what I was waiting for. She never died after five years. Ten years, she's still alive. Fifteen. Fought against all these ailments and illness that goes with her parent being paralysed. And I just found her phenomenal. And I think that, that energy that she had and that spirit that she's shown, and she showed me that even from a wheelchair you could be powerful, that was it. What I'm going through had no impact whatsoever in reality. Then when I realised something like that impacts a whole community and you're the, in the centre of that, then, you know, there's a kind of weird responsibility on you as well, isn't there? Because everyone's looking at you. So you can either fall away to the wayside and then they go, chuh, my man's in jail, all he does is that or that. Or you could do something about it. By chance, I just happen to have the audacity to say I want to do something about it. If I had to be honest and say, what is it that the right's done? All right, it's put a light on me, which I didn't really want, but now it's there and it stayed there for a little while. Then I've, we took advantage of that and we used it as positive and became my voice. I went up and did my first poem and I almost I cried, actually. It was quite tough because most of the audience knew me it was just after the rights as well. So it was quite tough because I was going to do a really poem about Charlie Prayer. It was about my cocaine habit. And, uh, one of the things they say if you're going to try and beat cocaine, you've got to let tell the truth, let it out. So I thought, no, a better place than say it's in Brixton in front of everyone. Someone said, look, we've got these young kids, I think you should tell them about yourself. And that's when it started to fall in place. What I, what I want to what I show young people here yeah, is that well, you can express yourself in, in, when someone's not doing something nice to you or, or, or you're not, you don't agree with what's happening to you. So to give someone, help someone find that voice and to be able to express that is really fulfilling. I'm, sorry, I'm still the same person when my mum got shot as I am today. It's just that I'm not selling stolen goods. I'm not fighting, I'm not doing the negative things. What I'm doing is using that skills ad in a different way. I watched the police shoot my mother. Brixton did up raw. They came locking me up, trying to even the score. And police so deaths goes unnoticed by justice or the law, saying that we're the reason for their rotten core. Trapped within the inner cities like a slave on the ship. You try and demonstrate, it's called shoulders of a chip. They change rules and regulations, so all situations fit. What chances do I really have? None that really exist. Wild, then believe what you want to believe, then listen to the hype, for they will tell you who I am. They will create my type. When well, now I've turned to poetry, it's my new form of attack. I will believe in myself and self-respect will not lack. No longer will I take this, it's time for me to be bold. It's time to stop being pushed around and forever being told. I may have gone through life committing one or two crimes, but I did do my sentence and I've served all my time. But people want me to go through life with rage in my heart, which they did achieve right at the very start. But if I was being honest, I was a fool to play the street game. So the mess that my life went through, I would take the blame. And as I wrote this particular poem, my conscience was very clear. I will achieve all my ambitions without the slightest fear. So the type that they created no longer would exist. I am a poet that I must insist or believe what you want to believe and listen to the hype for they will tell you who I am they will create my type